everyone and welcome to my uh, live stream on Facebook and um, today is Wednesday normally Mondays but anyhow and it's my first time in nearly a month since I've done a fair arrangement and um, probably do a load more now because coming up to Christmas great time of the year for me as a florist uh, to experiment and to do loads of things so um, yep and that's what I'm going to do so whoever's looking in right now say hello one viewer, us, one viewer um, tell we're, us where you're from be we're, great we're actually early versus what we said we do we forgot to change it sorry yeah, about that sorry about that folks <laughs> but you, you'll all get a message on your phone so today I'm going to do a long low table center arrangement for Christmas again table um, could be a whole table predominantly it's the dinner table so so what some people do for yours what some people do is they um, just leave it on the table when no one's sitting at it. Three viewers. Okay, Paul, stop that. And uh, so, um, or, or they can leave it on when, when some people are eating. It's not normally the done case. So I'm going to do this one. In, you'll see it. That's the best way Excellent. to do that. Okay. So I'm going to start off with Aspidestra. we have used these before. Lovely long leaf. Uh, here in the front ground or foreground to you there is lo some lovely fresh pine and um, so I'm going to put this in so I'm going to do this long and reasonably narrow not terribly narrow but reasonably narrow, and kind of kind of modern but not in another way anyhow I hummed and hawed over what I was going to do for this live stream I'm a little bit messed here now so sorry one second we have Dorothy from saying hello from Dunmore East in Waterford where oh. blahs are made all those tasty lovely blahs where what are made? blah is a, a it's kind of like a, a piece of bread that's a bun and you put butter on it and jam and it's absolutely delicious why can you not to do that with other bread? No, this is a specific type of uh, bun, uh, exclusive to Waterford. Wow. <laughs> I should so, know I went to college there. <laughs> oh, right, fair enough. I'm going to take that one out and put that. Well, hello, Dorothy from Dunmore East. Nice to, uh, <laughs> thanks for getting in contact. So one each side there, as you can see, down there, down there. Um, and then this one here, I'm going to keep this quite narrow, as I said. So I'm going to just break it there but not take it away, so that not cut it away completely, so that, that there's still water going into the leaf. And I'm gonna put that in there, and just leave it go, get a pin. So, as easy as that, that piece there is covered. With the next one, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, always the sharp point, break it there about an inch up, and in the opposite side. And that is and the German pin there so I'll just show you this <laughs> roughly so see how it's okay you can see how that piece there has covered that and the same on this side nothing different there oh, Valerie that? wants to know how's Oshin can I show Oshin oh, Enda? Show poor old Osh. This is Oshin everybody oh. go oh poor boy he has the, the collar of shame on him he hurts his foot and he can't scratch his look he at all those gorgeous flowers wow now so I just put a bit of leaf shine there. Now I'm going to use some of this lovely uh, pine. Um, I'm going to assume it's from Wicklow. It certainly is Irish. It's not Dutch, thank God. Um, and I'm just slotting it in there into that gap that was created between those two. Another piece of pine, maybe not, always clean it down, get rid of the pine needles, see so a nice clean stem. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that in this side. And then this one here has a couple of knots on it. You need to clean them off. So you have a nice clean stem there. That's it, Paul, come a bit closer, yeah. Just so people can see. And down low, between the, the, the base of the dish and the top of the oasis, um, in the side of it. Where are you going to, buddy? Where are you going, Ashim? Uh, no, he's <laughs> going to, he wants to go over to the mat. Let him over there. Okay. So he can have a nose outside. Off you go, bud. Come on, buddy. Okay, don't then. <laughs> It's a dog's life, as they say. Now, so that's the foliage there of the, the down part of it, okay? Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to use two white, well, ivory candles in this arrangement. Cool. Need to get these nearly in first, not just yet. I'm going to use some nice white twigs, okay? You can get these in glitter form, or you can get them as they are, just white. And I'm just going with the white ones for the moment. I'm not putting too much glitter in this. So I'm going to put these right across, like that, this arrangement. I'm not putting them into the oasis, I'm going to sit them on top of the oasis. 
each way, all right? So there wow. we go there. So I need a, just a few of these pins. What is this going to turn into? Just a few of these pins because the flowers will hold the branches in place as well. Yeah, that's the problem with the collar, buddy. You can't do what you want to do normally. So that's that there. Now I need, I'm going to put the candles in. Mm -hmm. gonna, and see the candles are holding the branches down. Now some people might put two candles in the middle, but I'm actually gonna put them quite close to each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Valerie there. Happy, or sorry, she says, ah, poor Oshin. Get well soon, your daddy will look after you. Happy oh, Christmas yeah. to end and fall. Thank Aww. you for all the live streams. Thank ah, you very that's much. Nice. So there's the twigs in there. Now I'm going to use some pussy willow and the pussy willow is just going to sit down in between. So it's a build up, but I'm leaving the, the, the unpussy willowed, the catkins ends um, yeah. still on the arrangement. I'm going to move that forward. Yeah, okay. Get a now these now, aren't right? going to be pinned down okay. um, at all at the moment. So the next thing I'm putting in is some green anthuriums. So you can oh. get these in, in most colors like white, red, green, green and red, pink and green and white. A variety of colors great lasting flair for Christmas well really at any time of the year but particularly at Christmas so one really down far okay um, in into the oasis one a lick kind of like a step arrangement sometimes you see step arrangements done but they're usually one two three this way not going down flat mm -hmm. and the third one I'm going to put it in between oh I shall do it that side so you can see it in between the candles now Paul if you can and only if you can can you reach over there and get those two out of that bowl those two no no the, see these flowers I've just used here oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry sorry yeah observation it helps <laughs> not a florist people not a florist sorry for the uh, unsteady camera work there I yeah one in one uh, I thought <laughs> I would get away with uh, three but I won't I need the five so our eight viewers are dying to see the Ooh. finished Nine viewer can't wait to see how this turns oh, out. Hell bells. No. Thanks Dolores for your comment. Now another thing to use in at Christmas and I really really like using it is um is hydrangea. And I, I have ordered it so I'm hoping it comes in really nice, a lovely red green hydrangea. So these bits of glitter, the purple, and purple and green and ivory all go well together. Now these are false, or not false, they're dried flowers. Mm. Um, and they're very woody stemmed. I, I, to be honest, no idea what they are, I have no clue. But I just like the glitter and I love the purple with the, with the green, I think it's a nice. And there's a mixture of, of these, so I'm just doing different, it, put them into different spots. That is in. amazing. Dotted in and around. Oh, go in. Go in, you devil. So you don't, oh. Look at all these. Full to the brim. Oh, so, little love heart pops up there. Hi. Cool. So just different shapes of these. Um, and like some people would, you know, when they're doing even their own um, table centre arrangements, um, they tend to put an awful lot of foliage into it. As you can see from this, you don't need to put an awful lot of foliage into it. You can still um, get quite a good of f effect if you just kind of, as I say, use your imagination. See how things go. Now these are a lovely white snowflake spray rose. And they're just so cute. They're the cutest little things. They really are nice. Now, just cutting this in here. So what I'd say to people is, um, you know, we'll do, we ha we'll have an absolute load of um, arrangements done up. But if there's a specific colour that you, you want that suits your decor or somebody's for, give us a bit of notice on it. Please call the shop and order. And even if not, if you want just a normal Christmas arrangement and leaving it up to us to do, um, please do call as well because it's just... We'll have a load of spare up, but we'll, you never have enough or you never have what somebody really, really wants. And, and, and at Christmas, um, it's such a good flower time for us. We really do try our best to um, facilitate, I suppose. You know, it's the business. 
just the way it is. So I'm just dotting these in and around the sticks just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I've just one more to go in. I'm going to put them in here. Oh, I want to say hello to Mary Cattle. And Mary Cattle lives in Boston, in the US of A. And um, great pub they're called The Chieftain. It's on, in Plainville in Massachusetts. So if any of my American friends are watching, <laughs> please pop down and into her pub. It's a good Irish pub. In, so she in, serves Guinness? Oh, she serves Guinness. And they serve fantastic food as well. Awesome. Um, so if you're ever down that way, people, um, in, in Boston, or if you're heading over for Christmas shopping or whatever, do call down. It's on Route 1, south out of Boston. Um, actually, after that, don't ask me much. It's been 10 years since I've been there. Um, I must take an old trip sometime. Sorry, Purple Solidago. I'm just bringing this in to just enhance the colour of the, the glitter that's there. Um, just dotting it in here and there in between. Leave your comments guys if you have anything to say type it in and it all comes up And the and reason why interact. Yeah, and the reason why I'm keeping this so low is because of the candles So the candles will burn down and when they get to there you replace them There's all flowers coming up too high and around it You want to get that much out of the candles and then you have to replace them So that's really why and it's also f as well so that people can see you know really what's in it the work it's a little well to me it's interesting the work that's in it um and it's just as i say it's a contemporary one i, I, I we also do non-contemporary ones like normal holly and pine and carnations and chrysanthemums and all that but when you're doing these live streams i like to do something that's not of the everyday norm for me so it just kind of gives me a bit of an added interest to it the last time Last stream I did, um, when I looked at it myself, I know the first stream I did, I thought it was very camp and the hands were going all <laughs> over the place. And the next couple of ones I was rocking forward and back. It's amazing what a, a video can, can do for, to change things. But I have to say, the last one I did, I looked like a pregnant homeless man. <laughs> it was ridiculous. God almighty, I was mortified at the way I looked. But anyhow, I'm hoping today... I look a little bit better, anyhow. That's the plan. Yeah, it's a nice shirt, Enda. Thanks and, very much. Uh, yeah, it looks very well. Thank um, you. But it looks absolutely spectacular. Is now, this I'm, guy here. I'm going to put it on the ground so yeah, you can see it. Yeah, much better okay. look because there's all these so before, there, yeah. yeah, before I put it on the ground, I'm just going to say to you guys, we're open right through from the... What, what's next Monday? <laughs> next Monday you do that is and I check the this. 12th. From the 12th right through until Christmas Eve. We're open the Sunday the 18th and, um, and we're open till 6 o'clock. We might open late one of the evenings but I'll just play that by ear. And again, um, on on the web page, this things like this won't necessarily be on the web page. Um, but you can put it down in the instruction if you're on the website. Um, on the instruction, love you to do a table arrangement, not love, you can leave that out of it. Um, you can do a table arrangement, um, a modern, what colours, and there you go, in the instructions. So that's it there. So it's really nice and tidy and festive. And it's a lovely, a lovely, lovely arrangement. Awesome. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can see, yeah, I, I kind of like that myself, I have to say. No, I'm not actually showing this at the best angle because of the tripod. I need to get down lower, but uh, okay. you get the idea, folks. Leave your comments. What do you think? Cool. So we uh, have so one there we have, around the shop. Yeah, have, uh, here's what some, have we got in? Here's another one I did um, earlier. Oh, oh. Hold on. Oh, so geez. this is a nice Christmas sorry. one here. Um, it has the lying um, silver deers that I have in the window. Red anthuriums, fresh apples, holly, uh, some pine, aspidestra leaves, a thick f f candle, a candle in a glass holder there, and some silver in that. So that's a nice one. Again, that's a good, decent size present. Gorgeous. And then there's this little thing here I did earlier as well, just for the, the live stream. This is a Christmas cracker arrangement. Mm -hmm. So as you can see it there, it's a little Christmas cracker, mm -hmm. two little bows on, nice little dinky amount of flowers in it, and it's a great little present. 
um, for someone and that is um, probably works out at around about 15 euros for the Christmas cracker. The one on the floor, um, oh, oh, no, she's going to demolish it now in a second. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. Huh? What you doing? What you doing, bud? What you doing? Move this poor Oisin is injured. He has a sore paw, people. 20 so stitches, the poor devil. 20 stitches. So this arrangement here, I haven't counted it up, on, on no. just kind of on the rough guess, around 50 euros, could be a bit more, but in or around that. When I say could be a bit more, it's not going to be 100. Um, it's 50, 60, say, for this one. That arrangement there, similar, 50, 60 for that one as well. It's just the type of flowers are in. You can get an arrangement with, with these things in it that don't cost as much, but I'm just showing you the exotic stuffs and all that. And then again, you know, you can still get something for under 20. And again, going back over here, Paul, yeah. you can get this lovely vase, gold, reds and silvers for 35, you see. So yeah. it, 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 it depends on the amount of work that goes into it and what we put in. Okay, awesome. Alrighty. So uh, we leave it at that, will we? Yeah, we'll leave it at that. See you folks. Bye-bye.